Sperm quality is a super important tool in the world of dog breeding. Don't count it out, get yourself a count. Hey everyone, welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Sam. Today we have a novel and exciting product to demonstrate and show to you. This being the Cellview Disposable Counting Chambers, this will allow you to cheaply and effectively approximate your stud dog's semen count on a microscope without the use of an advanced analyzer or CASA system. So if you currently own a microscope or are planning to get one, you may have experience analyzing your sperm sample under the microscope. This gives you a good idea of how they're swimming, how they're moving, what they look like. And with the addition of this product, now you can get an accurate count in the millions per milliliters. It's microscopically gridded, allowing you to count how many sperm are in each grid, count up to 10 grids, do a little bit of very basic math, and arrive at a good estimation of his total concentration. So the product is a microscope slide and slip cover set. There are 25 slides in each package with two positions, so allowing you to do up to 50 analyses. A microscope is required for use with this product. It must be an optical compound microscope. However, the magnification doesn't need to be much greater than 1000x. For your best results, we would recommend getting a scientific mic microscope such as this one with magnification up to 2400x. So the math is actually so easy that all you do is count up the total sperms observed in 10 of the squares, which we'll show you later in the demo. Divide that number by two, and you have your estimation in million per milliliter. This product will help you determine a approximate total concentration of sperms. That is, you're gonna get a good look at how many sperms in total exist in your semen sample and help you predict how much extender to use, uh, check the dog's vitality or health. However, it won't necessarily help you distinguish what type of sperm cells they are or how healthy they are. So it's not gonna give you a measurement on progressive motility, regular motility, versus morphologically abnormal. This is just gonna give you the total count of everything that exists in there. More advanced systems such as the iSperm and other CASA machines will perform those measurements for you, but this one will just give you the total count of sperms. So getting a professional sperm analysis doesn't guarantee that each sperm sample that follows is going to be in that same range. So again, as we mentioned before, ejaculating the animal too often can result in lower counts, missteps in processing, adding too much extender, and a variety of other problems can cause your ship semen or live breeding to have inadequate dose counts. So ideally you, you want your ship semen or preserved semen to be somewhere in the range of about 30 to 60 million per milliliter. Um, you may need to use extender prior to shipping out. So if your counts are extremely high, for the best preservation of the cells, you generally are adding extender. Most of those extenders have instructions on how much ratio to add based on the original raw counts. So this is really crucial to confirming that that sample is capable of producing a good pregnancy and then its performance is where you want to be as a business owner or as a small breeder. So this product is kind of one of the intro products in our sperm analysis lineup. As you can see here, we have the microscopes for sale. Again, this product will require a compound light microscope for use. It can also be paired nicely with the pet count. The pet count is gonna test the healthy, progressively modal sperm cells, and this would give you a count on the total concentration of sperm cells. So you can do a little bit of comparison there, how many sperm cells you have versus how many are actually healthy and capable of causing a pregnancy. Today we're going to be demonstrating the use of the cell view disposable semen counting chambers. So first we'll open up the package and take a look at the instructions. These are rather brief and simple. There's a couple steps that we'll go over just to ensure that you see the proper use of it so you get the best results. So as indicated here, we're going to want approximately only four microliters of specimen. You're going to be wanting to use sperm that is non-motile. So there are ways of basically killing off the motility of the sperm sample, but we don't want to do it to the entire sample. 
as that will, well, cause uh, the pregnancy to be missed. So what we're gonna do here is actually transfer some of the sample into a different tube. We're going to temperature shock that tube with the sample in it, basically um, either killing off or harming the semen enough to where they're not moving so that we can get a good concentration count. So as indicated in the instructions, we'll first we'll mix it by gentle inversion or by brief vortexing and set our mechanical pipette to four microliters. A little bit plus or minus will be okay, but let's keep it as close to four as possible. We'll insert into the tube and place barely off center to the left of the slide. Okay, so now the next step here is we're going to want to put the glass slide over the top and slide it out. So make sure the cell view name is facing up. And then, of course, always start off with the lowest magnification on your microscope. That will enable you to catch when you're in focus quicker. Okay, so now we're going to count all the ones we can see within the grids. So starting from right to left, I have one, two. Be looking for the long tails, the flagella. So here we have good ones in view. We're gonna count this up again and average the two counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, possibly sixteen here. So we're gonna average it out to be fifteen. Then we divide that number by two. So it's gonna be seven point five, and that result is our concentration. As simple as that. This device is intended to give you an accurate raw approximation count. It involves very simple math and will put the quality of your stud dog semen sample on your radar and on paper.